Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to install a LED light bar to the Ducato. Now it's, uh, the Ducato is a little different from other vehicles. Your standard harnesses will not work. So whatever standard harness comes with your light kit will most likely not work. Um, but I'll show you why and how to deal with that. Uh, so if you find this um, video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of it. Okay, let's start off with the end result. So the light accessory, uh, in order for it to be safe and compliant with laws, the light, the LED light bar should only come on when the high beam is on. This way you're not going to be blinding people because you were unaware that the light was on. When, in other words, LED light can only be on when your high beam is on and there will be the usual high beam indicator on your dash to indicate that. Right, so the installation was done in four steps. Step one, I connected power. Step two, I connected it to the high beam headlamp. And this is where the Ducato is different from other vehicles and why the standard harness will not work. And I'll go into detail with that, about that in a minute. Step three was to test the system, make sure that it's working. Um, it's only when I finished the testing that I actually installed the light itself to the bumper. And the final step was the installation of the switch inside the cabin, and that's the switch for you to turn on and off the uh, accessory light. Okay, so let's start with step one, which is um, to connect the red and black cables. Now, forget the instructions, they're very, very confusing. It's actually very simple and you're gonna be much better off ignoring the instructions. I'll show you how to do this easily and safely. So the first thing you wanna do is disconnect the fuse of the LED accessory light. Uh, and this will make it very unlikely for you to cause unexpected shorts and stuff like that. Once you've done your connections, uh, then you can put the fuse back on and you haven't damaged anything. So to get power, we uh, I use the fuse box inside the engine compartment. Uh, there are other fuse boxes, but I use the one inside the engine compartment. But the trouble is to reach this, you need to remove the headlight on the left side of the uh, vehicle. Actually, this is very, very simple to do. It just has two screws that you unscrew. You need a Torx head screwdriver to unscrew it, and you just uh, release the uh, power supply to the housing by clipping the gray tab sideways and the, uh, um, the umbilical power supply just falls right off. Right, so once you've got the headlight out, put it somewhere safe where it won't get scratched, and then go ahead and open up the fuse box. There are three screws uh, marked yellow, you can't miss it. And then after that, you wanna identify the red cable coming from the battery. The battery is housed inside the cabin on the floor, we'll come to that later on. But anyway, so you wanna attach the red cable of the light to this red cable, so unscrew, the, the the bolt and screw it back on. So once you've got the positive connected, go ahead and pop back the cover of the fuse box, making sure that the fuse uh, is located outside so you can always change it very easily. And next step will be to connect the black cable and the black cable will be connected to any metal part of the vehicle and uh, this is where I chose to install it. Once the black and red power cables have been installed, you can now safely replace the fuse and uh, go on to step two. So step two is connection with the high beam. This is how the accessory light knows when it should come on. It'll only come on if the high beam is, is, is on. So it needs to know when electricity is being passed on to the high beam. And so this is where it becomes a special problem for the Ducato because uh, we Ducato um, owners have um, uh, Ducatos with a H7 headlamp and not the usual H4. So the part of the cable that we want to use is this portion here, which ends with this white junction box. So what I've had to do is clip that off and 
and then uh, next step would be to create a hole uh, through through which you could thread once that's done then begins the job of connecting in series it's not as complicated as it sounds um, what you want to do is first cut off the brown and black cables which feed the high beam light and uh, you basically want to expose some metal so that you can twist the wires together that is to say the red cable of the um, your new light with the brown cables of the headlight and the blacks uh, cables all get fused together and you twist it together cover it up so it's safe and pop back the the head uh, the, the cover the cover back onto the housing and if you've done it right you will have the white T-junction box sticking outside, ready for you to connect it to your new accessory light. So having done this, you can now, you're now ready to do the install. So uh, as far as uh, electrical connections, uh, that's all that's needed. Connect the unit to the power of the battery. Having done that, connect it to the high beam. So have, now that you've done this, you can then um, connect the light and you can turn on your engine and turn on the high beam and make sure that it's working. Once you've established that it's working, you're happy that all your electrical connections are done. Um, I then I progressed on to step three, which was actually installing the light itself to the bumper, which is really quite simple. Uh, position it properly and, and, uh, where, where you like it. Uh, mark where you wanna drill your holes, drill your holes, attach the, the bolts and um, so now the light is firmly attached to your bumper okay so now you just run your cable underneath the vehicle up to your light uh, make your connection and you've completed step three right okay so now step four step four is connecting or placing a switch on your dashboard the first challenge will be to run the cable from the engine compartment into the cabin. And for that, I use uh, this yellow electrician's aid. And um, I made the connection, I made the cable run through the floor of the cabin where the battery compartment is by removing the holder, which tightens the battery inside the uh, its cage. You, I found a, a little opening which um, did the job just nice. So it allowed the, the cable to come through. So once I was able to run the cable through, I uh, replaced the bolt, the battery bolt, and I replaced the uh, cover for the uh, battery compartment. And then I ran the cable towards the driver's side. Um, so this is like step B of the installation. Uh, lucky for us Decato owners, it's quite easy to remove this, this, this plastic uh, flap in the fuse box area. It's only two screws that you need to unscrew. Once you've done that, the whole thing just falls off quite easily. So then I carried that out and I use a 19 millimeter drill bit to create a hole. I started on the inside, uh, punctured through, then I worked on the front side so that I would get a nice clean cut. Having done that, I then used a file and made sure that it was just the right size for the switch to fit through. Then uh, I was ready to replace the uh, dashboard panel inside. And of course, before you screw it back on, you'll connect your cables. And before you disconnect the switch, um, make sure that you made note of um, where, you know, with what goes where. So, um, uh, take a photograph before you you, you do you do this so having done that um, your job's done you you've now got your switch uh, I chose to have the switch placed here but some of you may have um, may want to place it somewhere else and if you do please uh, make comments and uh, show us a video of where you placed it but I, I did it this way because I found it to be um, quite simple and easy to do and all the cables were hidden away quite well how much time will you need to do this job? Well, having watched this video, I don't think 
you take anything more than two to three hours. Um, if you've got all the tools ready, you watch this video, you could do it well under two hours. It's really not that difficult. So I do hope that's being useful for you and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can catch up with any more videos that I put up. Thanks so much.